Hi guys, this is my second day in uh, Slovenia. Today I'm going to get tested for COVID in order not to have problems when I cross the border with Italy. And then I'm gonna go back to my apartment to have a quick lunch. And after that, I'm going to take a bus to Vlad. Um, what else? Well, that's it, so I'm gonna keep you updated. Oh, by the way, I hate getting tested for COVID. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So, see ya. I've discovered this street uh, from which you can see the castle and that house, which is very cute. And also, if you turn to the right, uh, it's cute as well, so... I am in uh, Congress Square or something now. They are probably um, about to have a concert here. But you can see that building and over here there's a little park called Congress Nitrug or something like that. Um, and this is still in uh, Ljubljana. I'm not in Vlad yet and as I said before uh, I like this place a lot. Hi guys, it's me again. Now I'm still in the center of Ljubljana. I think this is like the marketplace or something like that. Um, I don't remember where I left you, so if I say something repetitive then I'm sorry. It's just that I have no memory at all. So, uh, when I first came here my plan was not to spend any money but actually you know marketing works so I've been buying souvenirs this morning so um, this morning I went to get tested for COVID and uh, I decided to go there by foot so I went to the center went to the place to get tested in and then from that place I went back to the center again um, I had some breakfast, I've bought an ice cream which was 3 euros but it was a big ice cream and it was also, you know, it tasted good um, and I'm allowed to judge that because I'm Italian uh, then I bought a cappuccino which was 1 euro 40 also nice and then I decided to buy some souvenirs for my family. I bought a cup for my grandma, which was 10 euros. Uh, it, it's a small cup, you know, uh, a cup for coffee. But um, it's super decorated and stuff, so I guess it was worth 10 euros. Maybe not. Uh, and then I bought a magnet, which was 50 cents for my entire family, because I had no cash left. I only had 50 cents and I didn't want to use my card to uh, withdraw money because uh, it took 4 euros for each withdrawal and also I didn't want to pay you know just the price of a of a magnet by using my card I didn't know, I didn't even know uh, whether it was possible or not you know in those stands that uh, are outside and stuff and I also bought a shirt for my little sister because I always do when I go uh, to another country. Actually, I think I didn't when I went to Norway because when I went to Norway, I bought her a cap, uh, a Viking cap. So, um, what else? Now I'm going back to my place to have lunch and to recharge my phone and then I'll be off to Bled. Uh, a couple of things I've noticed this morning. A, people speak English very well here. Uh, everywhere I went, people could uh, both understand and answer to me, but there's no signs in English, you know what I mean? So there's nothing written in English. Uh, while you're working, you have to, you know, figure it out on your own. But if you ask information in English, then people are going to be able to uh, help you. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, um, birds aren't afraid of anything here. 
they actually let you feed them. So that's nice, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. Hi guys, I'm in Bled's bus station now. Um, I'm not using my headphones because I've noticed in the last video, uh, I noticed in the last video that they were making some noise. So I hope you can hear me like this as well. Um, I had some problems um, getting on the bus because I tried to ask information to a lot of people, but most of the bus drivers didn't speak English and um, one of the guys in the ticket office wasn't clear at all so I had to ask the same information over and over again but eventually um, just by showing my ticket to the bus driver he got what I was, say, was out what I was trying to say and he was like okay yeah uh, hop on it was actually <laughs> quite confusing because every there was one bus driver who told me to go to the bus next to him so I went to the bus next to him and he said, no, no, go back to the other bus. So I had to go uh, back and forth a couple of times. So now I'm going to the lake and I'll show you what I think should be a really pretty place. I can't wait. I'm still in blood and I never want to leave. Um, now I'm trying to find um, a boat under the price of 20 dollars, 20 euros an hour, which I found earlier, but I think that's too much. Um, I also asked a couple of girls that were working by if they wanted to split the price in three, so we would only have to pay. Uh, seven euros but they said no so now I'll check every single boat um, station to see if there's any uh, at a low price um, also I've just read the story behind Bloods Lake so there's a castle over I don't know if you can see it over there and basically a princess in that castle um, became a widow when her husband died and so she bought a bell to place in the church which is over the island over there but then uh, some wind came in and the uh, boatman and the uh, bell sank so now uh, so then the Pope did something and now every time you, you know, you play the bell, your wishes come through or something. So, that's the legend apparently. Let me check the boats over here to see if they are inexpensive. So I decided to take a boat trip, it was 15 euros, um, it was kind of the cheapest I could find, there was another one which was 12, but it was not an electrical boat, this was a traditional boat, so a guy basically paddled our way to the little island in the middle of Bled's Lake. So now I'm exploring this little island and I'll be back uh, to Ljubljana soon. I'm sorry guys for um, the fact that I, will, I won't be uh, filming everything but um, my, my phone's memory is running off so I don't have enough space. 
spare time on my phone to film everything so I guess this will be a shitty vlog bye Uh, so guys that's it for today uh, now I'm going back to Ljubljana by bus and uh, tomorrow I'll travel back to Italy which I won't vlog because it's just gonna be a bus trip uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one